Sometime in the next few months, Robbinsdale residents will notice a big change with their water. Delane Cleveland explains how some businesses are looking forward to softer water. This plant is a magnificent building. What it will do will be even more magnificent. Nearly two years after construction began, work on Robbinsdale's new water treatment plant is nearly complete. The facade is starting to look just as the, the architects had anticipated. When this building becomes fully operational, it will mark a new era for the city. There's still a lot of uh, testing work to be done on all the systems and the processes inside but uh, we're, we're very, very close to be able to produce soft water for the first time. Right now, Robbinsdale water is hard, meaning that it has a lot of dissolved minerals. Those minerals make it more difficult to get things clean unless the water is treated with the softener. I anticipate that uh, the residents will, will shout for joy when they, they get the, the soft water on their taps and uh, no longer have to rely on their individual salt softeners to uh, make their water palatable. Yet the water will impact more than Robbinsdale residents. I mean, beer is 90 to 95 percent water, so that water profile has a massive impact on the final beer. Andy Getch is the head brewer for Robbinsdale's Nouvelle Brewing, where they have 24 beers on tap and an ever-evolving selection. There's too many hops in the world, there's too many ingredients in the world to uh, kind of do the same thing over and over. To make all those beers, he needs soft water. Nouvelle treats the water on site using reverse osmosis. There is a little bit of waste with RO water, so if we could filter half and then blend stuff in to get kind of a, a neutral water profile, I mean, that would just be better all around. He still plans to use reverse osmosis water to make beer, but hopes to blend in city water to be more environmentally friendly. Having good brewing water will be great for the city, for sure. In Robbinsdale, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.